Today we've been uh, running a session called Meet the Buyer, so some suppliers have been coming in uh, and just basically showing us their product range and what they might be able to supply into Asda into our fixture. Following a paper-based exercise, we um, invited eight um, companies to come in and present uh, new product ideas um, for the brakes business. So we've been talking about the concepts, we've been reviewing the, the products, actually physically eating them with the, with the producers and debating the potential for listing within the brakes group. Uh, we've seen a whole mix actually, it's been interesting. So we've seen everything from very basic products like skim milk and evaporated milk through cake mixes, uh, honey. Uh, biscuits, chocolate, cooking chocolate, so a real mix across the whole area that we, uh, we manage. We've had a great day, we've um, seen a, a whole host of different um, types of products from suppliers that currently Breaks don't trade with and we've got some really interesting ideas now to take back to our commercial teams for them to review the actual commerciality, um, the food safety, the technicality and the, the likelihood of it really offering a solution to our caterers. We're interested in finding new suppliers because it helps us manage costs and it helps us sort of deliver variety and new products. So we've seen products at people from Dubai, Greece, Spain. In the current economic climate it's too easy to say oh well, you know, we'll just sell what we've got. We're, we're, we're really searching for products that are new and are going to offer our chefs and, and caterers solutions that are going to enable making their lives easier and ultimately make their menus more appealing so that we can keep footfall and uh, meals on plates. It's difficult to go out and find new suppliers, so we, we've, in some areas we feel we've exhausted the UK market. So we, we need to now go out and find other suppliers. Trade shows are, are one way to do that. A lot of it is, is suppliers we don't know showing us their, their products. Uh, honey is a particularly difficult area for us to buy at the moment. Uh, UK honey has been hit by hive collapse dis, uh, disorder, so there's no UK honey. So we've seen, we've seen a couple of good honey suppliers who can offer us the range we need uh, and security of supply as well. Before today we didn't know where to go for a second supplier because we know the UK market but we don't know the continental market. Yeah, life's tough, absolutely life's tough. Um, caterers are getting um, you know, more challenging with the sorts of products um, and the solutions that they're looking for. And we're, we're working harder and harder with them to understand the real needs of their business by each of the individual cha um, channels so that the, the products we're putting in front of them are actually going to solve their needs. Taking me to retail star products or something that works in one channel won't necessarily work in another. So it's really important to get that initial um, work uh, work right. It's a difficult market, everyone's keen on price, so we're having to manage price closely, but we're also seeing an increase in volume, so we're having to make sure that we can keep supply up in store so we don't disappoint our customers. The great thing about IFE is it, the fact it pulls together so many different levels of, um, of suppliers from small to large and from a, you know, a broad spectrum um, of, of, of orange origins. Um, so the, the theme for us this year being all about innovation is key, as I've said, with it being such at the heart of what, what Breaks is all about. We've had an opportunity both from the Meet the Buyer event and also from lots of our team being present actually down on the show to walk around and to find um, you know, ideas that we can then take back and, and use within our business. I think it's interesting because I think the natural reaction is, is to kind of pull the drawbridge in and, and not spend any money and not exhibit and, and we, we could do the same at our end. Uh, but we, we're going to come out of recession and we think that will be next year. Uh, and you could have a gap then in, in supply and innovation if you've not been working and keeping in contact with new suppliers and new ideas. It's been great and it's been particularly um, rewarding to have the opportunity to see some of the exhibitors that have, have done a lot of work to present products to us today that they feel could be bespoke and could be, could be specific within our business. So yeah, the balance of what we've seen um, actually wandering around the show and meeting the exhibitors to the, 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 the bespoke presentations we've had today, it's, it's been a really worthwhile show.